Hi, I'm Tom Newman from Capital Cycle Coaching. I'm a lifelong cyclist. I've got lots of tips from experience, which I can pass on to you to make you become a better cyclist and enjoy this wonderful sport of ours. It's not a complicated area, but it's an area that needs a bit more clarification. For example, if you're a guy who's coming in for a standard road bike, the sums are fairly simple. If you're a lady who comes in for a road bike, not so straightforward because the lady's torso is generally shorter than a man and also her arms. So the dimension from the peak of the saddle to the handlebars on the lady's bike is generally shorter than it is for a man. You don't want to buy a frame that's too large for you because obviously it's more heavy because there's more material in it. But there again, you don't want to buy a frame which is too small because it, it will be more sort of twitchy to ride and it will flick across the road. Generally speaking, time trial frames are normally smaller than the standard road frame because the idea is with a smaller frame, the distance from the road to the handlebars are going to be less compared to a road bike. And the idea is to sort of drop your body and get into a more aerodynamic position. If you're looking at sort of folding bicycles, which is one of these, and generally speaking, one size suits all and you fiddle, and fiddle up and down with the, with the height of the saddle which goes up and down and you set it to whatever size you want. What size is correct for a person on a mountain bike frame? Generally speaking mountain bike frames are a much smaller triangle compared to a road bike and they show much more seat pin which is what this item is here. To get our ideal fitting it's advisable to go to a reputable cycle shop but having said that if you've got a friend who's in the, in the cycle business or knows someone who knows a bit about bikes, then they can give you some general ideas on what sort of size. I mean, I'm about six foot. I would generally ride a road frame about 58 centimetres. Generally speaking, the height is measured from the bottom bracket to the top of the saddle. So if you jump on a bike and you get that dimension, where in this case here, it's about sort of 770 millimeters which is about 30 and a half inches and when you get on the bike the idea is to have a leg which is the knee is just slightly bent when the pedal is at the bottom of its stroke 